Hello my friends, welcome to my uh, workshop, welcome to my channel. My name is Sebastian Goya and I'm a spray painter. This painting I will start doing the mountains in the background uh, and then I'm starting always with the color of the mountain and after I do the color of the sky then when I apply the paper it's uh, well I make it really neat and nice cut in between the mountains and the sky. The other thing, it's try to do the mountains with just with the paper. With the one paper we can get the light, we can get the shadows and we can get the textures of the mountain and this is what I love to be able to do. Uh, in the second uh, round, I will do a waterfall in the right side. In this case, I like, continue to use the same colors like beige and some uh, orange brown, and uh, in this case, I'm adding black because I want more contrast. Contrast, and this layer will be a little uh, more detailed than the mountain one that is far away. I use uh, the beige and the white for blend the side of the mountain wall that will hold the waterfall and a little white and beige for create a little nice uh, fog in the bottom of the mountains. Now the idea is to build the stone wall. Uh, first I, I, it's gonna be a clear cut in between the layer of the mountains and the sky and uh, have a little lighter over it and a nice texture. I use again uh, black because I really, really uh, think that uh, it's have a nice result when you have a, a darker background when you do a waterfall and you will have a little clean white water uh, falling. Uh, this uh, black layer helped me to build this second uh, part of the stone wall that hold the waterfall. It will be a little darker uh, going to this side, then uh, I uh, use it for do a little more detailed uh, texture in to, to the stones. Uh, I use the hair dryer for dry this uh, black uh, layer because it's, uh, I prefer that it's very dry for do the waterfall, then I get a better clean cut. Uh, like you see, I put a lot of white and I do a little pull in the top and then gently I just slide it down uh, and uh, the way the paper, the paper of, of the cut edge of the paper will do the little lines of the weather. For finish, uh, in the first ground I'm using again the same colors uh, but uh, uh, I'm using this uh, special technique for do the drops of the waterfall. You uh, will push the bottom in a special way that you want to have nice thick drops that want to fall out and then it's going to be more uh, similar to the splash of the water uh, at the end of the waterfall. Then with the white I blend all this together with nice fog but uh, this uh, first layer I need some black but I want to apply it first over a journal paper for build the stone boulders in the front layer. I use this technique because, again, I want to have a clear cut in between the background and the stones that I'm uh, drawing, painting in this case, sorry. <laughs> again, putting the black on the journal paper and then using my finger for draw the stones and to have a nice, uh, very stone-looking effects of the texture. Now for, uh, I'm drawing a cherry tree, for do that I use always a piece of cardboard because it's uh, like expendable, like then I can throw it away after use it. I don't need to uh, destroy brushes with this painting, it's very like corrosive and it's very difficult to get out of the brushes, I need to use a lot of solvent. I prefer myself to use cardboard and it's easy and it's possible.
Well, for Finnish, if, uh, I always uh, apply a little light, uh, scratching the painting with the uh, palette knife. I use the clear light always for wet the painting underneath and the palette knife for scratch the painting and get some nice uh, light reflect on this, in this case over the trunk and branches of this tree. For paint the beach, I will use the same. I will use a piece of cardboard and try to draw uh, this kind of circular bridge, very minimalist, that uh, we get in the typical uh, oriental paintings. I want to apply a little perspective on the bridge because the idea it's like the left boulder, it's uh, in, in, in a rear uh, plan, and then you have like the right boulder that's a little nearer us. Then I, it's a little subtle perspective over the bridge. And again, use the palette knife for get a little light and for make a little more neat cuts and draw the perspective in a better way. And I use the palette knife for do some details of the bridge as well. I used another piece of cardboard for draw the little characters that are going through the bridge. Uh, I imagine two monks. I used a rubber brush for apply the colors. I will uh, use some red and some uh, orange. This typical orange of the Buddhist monk uh, suits. A little light piece of wood were used for walking, a walking stick. I used the palette knife, we get a little light uh, reflects over the characters as well. The idea is these monks are going through the bridge from one monastery to another or going through the mountains. I think I love this kind of mountain scape with the, all these fogs make a little mystical. I used the rubber brush to apply some red to the bridge for have a nice uh, contrast of color and not have like some boring just monochromatic uh, painting. I will use uh, some pink and lila colors for do the blooming cherry tree, but uh, this little red, uh, I think it's a part, uh, a little nice touch to the bridge. I always define with some palette knife for get clear, nice edges. For uh, do the foliage, uh, the flowers of the cherry tree, and using uh, crumbled paper, I uh, use newspaper or like old uh, telephone book, uh, book paper. It's very nice to do this too. It's not the same that using sponges because sponges have like a very stiff uh, and regular feeling to me. I prefer to use uh, crumbled paper because uh, each time that you stamp, the shape of the paper will change and it will be, be more irregular. When uh, I do the bushes, I always do a little black first bushes. I paint them in brush with the same uh, technique, with the same piece of uh, crumbled paper, uh, because then it's going to be better. Uh, it want to look better when you apply the light color. If you apply the light without the black in the background, it uh, will lost in between the stone that we have uh, painted before. Then uh, now I use the same color of the uh, foliage of the cherry tree 
Um, you, like you see, each time that you apply the stamp of the paper, it's making very different shapes, then it looks more natural to me. And for finish the painting, always a couple of birds that I love to do for like tradition and a little movement. And uh, some stars, and of course I want to put some white mist at the bottom for blend all this together nicely and finish with my signature. Thank you very much guys for seeing this painting. I think it's a very nice result. Um, please, if you like my work, subscribe and don't forget to uh, click on the bell for uh, notifications for when I get, get putting out a new painting.